This is tip four in the series of six tips on types of datum features and the degrees of freedom they may constrain. You know, if you like these tips, you're going to love my new computer-based training that brings you up to speed on the 2009 revision of the Y14-5 standard. This clip on cones as datum features is from that computer-based training. Where a cone is used as a primary datum feature on a regardless of material boundary basis, it can constrain five of the six degrees of freedom. Once you grab a cone with a theoretical datum feature simulator, the only thing it can do is rotate. Be sure to check out the other tips in this series and see how other datum features work. Better yet, take our computer-based training online or on DVD. And remember, at Techies, GD&T rules. I'll see you next month.